Tips for hiring models, photographer edition. Are you looking to beef up your portfolio? You want someone amazing to stand in front of your camera and model for you, but you have no idea where to find them or how to know if you're even finding the right person? Well, I got you. I'm gonna give you my four biggest tips to hire the perfect model for your photo shoot. Hello, my name is Mike Lloyd. I am a professional photographer in Silicon Valley, California. I've been doing this since 2010, and I've been teaching also for about 10 years. And in that teaching, I've done, I don't know how many workshops where I've had to hire models to come in and participate in the workshops. Also, building my own portfolio, I had to get a ton of models in front of my camera so I could learn every skill I needed to know and be ready to go for my first paying clients. And I'd say it worked out because my very first client ever spent $5,500 and that secured my place in the photography industry. I'm like, you know what? This is for me. And I would love for you to have that same experience. So I'm going to give you my four best tips on how to find the perfect model for your photo shoot. Number one, why are you doing the shoot? Number two, where do you look for a model? Number three, what does success look like? And number four, get everything in writing. So firstly, why are you doing this shoot? You should go into every single photo shoot with one specific intention. I've covered this in some other videos, so hopefully you have already subscribed to my channel. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more of these helpful videos on how to grow your photography business and build these chops. So why are you doing the shoot? What do you want to achieve? Do you want to get better at one light setups? Do you want to use two lights? Do you want to use three lights like I'm currently using to film this video? Do you want to get better at posing? Are you looking to shoot fashion photography? Do you want to try indoor stuff? Maybe outdoors, corporate headshots? The list goes on. But you need to decide why you are doing the shoot because that will determine the kind of model you need to find to model for you. So if you want to do corporate headshots, you probably shouldn't find someone with gauges in their ears and face tattoos unless that's the norm for the corporate scene in your area. I don't know about you, but I have never done executive headshots with anyone who has full face tattoos. If you do, amazing. I'd love to photograph you but you need to find the right person who looks like the kind of client you are looking for. This is the same if you wanna shoot boudoir, or families, or high school seniors, or anything. If you're only photographing the 19-year-old Instagram influencer, you are not going to be attracting the 50-year-old mother of three who's looking to hire you for a boudoir session because she'll look at your portfolio and think, oh, cool, you know how to photograph my kids, you don't know how to work with me. So by defining what kind of shoot you're looking for and why you're even doing this, that will help you find the perfect type of model. Number two, look in the right places. I have generally been pretty fearless in finding models, and if I go out to eat, I will approach somebody in the restaurant or grocery store or wherever I am and just ask if they would like to model a photo shoot for me. Given I've been doing this a while, I don't look like a creeper. I don't shoot in the back of a white van. People generally like me. And that strategy has worked pretty well. But if you can't just walk around and ask people to model for you, you can jump on Facebook and find local photography and model groups and post there. Meetup.com is another great way to do it because you can join photography groups where there might be model shoots already happening. And it's also a great way to build your network because those photographers probably know the models you're looking for. You could also jump onto Model Mayhem, the tried and true resource for the photography industry. You can get hairstylists, makeup artists, set designers, clothing designers, editors, anyone related to our industry is gonna be on Model Mayhem. And you can post the kind of shoots you're looking for, you can browse profiles of the models who are in your area, and you can just send direct messages and ask if they're interested in, in working with you. By looking in the right places, you will find the right kind of models. For example, if you are still going after the 50-year-old mother of three, you're probably not gonna go into a boutique clothing store that caters to teens. You're gonna go into a boutique clothing store that sells to that exact type of client and do like I do. I call them red carpet days, where I go and I set up my lights in a backdrop in a clothing store. Of course, we plan this ahead of time. I don't just show up and surprise, photo shoot day. 
And we let people in the store try on clothes and then stand in front of my backdrop and I do a mini fashion shoot with them. This was really how I got started in giving posing direction because I got, I don't know, 15, 20 new people in front of my camera every day that I was set up. I had five minutes with each person, so I had to move fast. I had to get them comfortable in front of the camera and get great photos. I had to work really fast with these new people and get them great photos in a very short amount of time. That really, really helped me develop my skills in working with clients, and I booked a ton of business from it. It's one of my favorite ways to market my business. So by going into these stores, you can work directly with these clients before they're even your clients, show them how amazing you are by doing this quick shoot with them, and then they're gonna book you. So that is a great marketing tip and a great way to find other models. In case they don't book you, you still have a new portfolio. What does success look like? This is super important. Just like you need to know why you are doing the shoot and where you're gonna find your model, what does it actually look like if you've achieved your goal? You can't just say, well, I have more portfolio photos or I've done a photo shoot because you can get both of those things and still have it not be successful. So if you wanna get better at one light setups, spend the entire day working on a one light setup. Don't do it for 10 minutes, think, oh cool, I got this down, and then start adding lights to your set. Spend the entire time doing that. And maybe your goal is, I want 20 amazing photos out of this shoot using one light. Or I want five different lighting setups that I can repeat using one light. And if you're not sure, how to even do that. I have an amazing video I filmed with Intuition Backgrounds, seven lighting setups with one backdrop. Definitely gonna wanna watch that one. And I did it in the garage because you don't need a big fancy studio to do any of these. And that was a fun exercise. That was our goal for the thing. I happened to film it for Intuition Backgrounds and you can watch it here as well. So by defining your goals and setting a very, very concrete, very specific desired outcome, you are way more likely to reach it. Because again, if you just say, I'm gonna end up with portfolio photos and have a good shoot, that means nothing and you're probably not gonna learn anything from your shoot. Number four, get everything in writing. Just like we have clients sign contracts, you have your clients sign contracts, right? Defining what the outcomes are, the deliverables, the timelines, the cost, expectations of everybody. We need to do the same with our models because if she needs to show up hair and makeup ready, you got to have that in writing ahead of time. If you're going to be there for two hours, you got to have that in writing ahead of time. Are you providing snacks? How many photos are you going to deliver? Will they be edited? When are you going to deliver them? How will you deliver them? What can she do or he do with the photos? Are they allowed to edit these photos or are they not allowed to edit these photos? All of this stuff needs to be done in writing. So even if you have a phone call where you go over all of this before the session, draft an email with all of these things outlined and ask them to reply that they agree because you both need to be on the same page with all of these things. The last thing you want is for two weeks to roll by, you've just sent a dozen beautiful edited photos and your model goes, cool, can I have all the raw files? And you're like, I don't share the raw files. And they're like, well, everyone shares raw files. And you're like, well, I never agreed to that. Get it in writing exactly what the deliverables are, when they're going to be delivered, and how. And then who can do what with them? Because again, if she's going to do or he's going to edit them, put all kinds of filters on them and then tag you on Instagram, people are going to see those and think, wow, this photographer must use a ton of filters and do all these weird things to their photos that you would never do. So you have to have all of this in writing, even if it's not an official legally drafted contract. It's just going to preserve everyone's relationship make it more amicable. And again, you are going to know what success looks like because you've both agreed to it in writing. So there you go. My four biggest tips on how to successfully hire a model for your portfolio building shoot. One, why do you want to do the shoot? Number two, where do you find a model for the shoot? Number three, define what success looks like. And number four, get it in writing that you've both agreed to. If you're like, cool, well, once I have the model in front of my camera, I have no idea what to do. 
I got you covered. I already mentioned that lighting video, but you absolutely must go watch my video, 10 Boudoir Poses to Get You Started, where again, I sat down with my good friend Amy, we went through the posing book that I have that is available for you at boudoirguild.com that I'll talk about in a second. And we went through 10 go-to boudoir poses that you can do and exactly how to do them. So go check that video out and then head to boudoirguild.com and pick up the posing book that walks you through exactly how to pose your clients. So there's no guesswork and you can actually achieve the goals you set out to achieve for this portfolio building shoot. You are amazing. We'll see you inside.